you're great mates with Sam Steins, and I love yeah. that she says that um, education is power. Yes. Especially for women. Yeah. I think it's so important that even if it's not doing courses, we're curious and we're questioning things. Yeah. That is who you are in a nutshell. You'll go off for six months and come back and have a bloody bachelor of this or this yeah. or that. Like you, you. Yeah. I've never met anyone who has educated themselves more. Yeah. And just quietly climbs the ladder. Yeah. Because all of a sudden we get a text saying, "Oh, I'm the CEO of St Kilda Youth Services." Like, what the actual fuck? Yeah. You're 31, 32 years old, and you are a CEO. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. It's so incredible. <laughs> yeah. How did getting, has it always been you've always wanted to, which in, again is in an industry where you're giving back these women, yeah. are sex workers, yeah. drug addicts. Yeah. And can you explain the work that you do? With yeah. Them? Well, the thing, the thing about St Kilda Youth Services is that I, it's so interesting because eight years ago I was involved because I've lived in Elwood and I've lived around the area and I saw what they were doing and they were being at the forefront eight years ago in that they were starting alternative education for the most disadvantaged people in an area where we're all living in really nice houses and quite affluent but there's a lot of disadvantage mm. and I just remember thinking really impressed with what they were doing because I believe in education and it's how I've, it's been my mantra and I've seen change and why I build an education centre in Thailand when everyone said do an orphanage. I was like, no, it's about education. Yeah. And the, the role of the CEO of St Kilda Youth Service came up last year and at the time I was starting to position myself where I thought I was ready to be a CEO, which is a strange thing to think at my age, but I'd been really pushing to get myself to that point yeah. um, because I know that I've got a lot to give as a leader and I think that I wanted to, to do it in an industry I was passionate about. And I went through a long recruitment process and I was so scared to even talk to people about it because I thought, if this doesn't happen, you sort of feel like, oh, you know, you didn't get there. And, and for me, I, a lot of things after I won Young Australian were a bit easier to get because people respect you. But that had been a few years prior and I actually had to prove that I was more than the Tsunami Widow to yeah. St Kilda Youth Service to get this job. Right. Because to be the CEO, you have to have skills yeah. to run, you know, a three million operating organisation and manage 40 staff and do all that. So you have to be able to do it. So, mm. so the day that they said, they rang me and said to come in and told me that they wanted me to be the CEO, it was like that moment where you're like, um, I thought about it for so long. When I was in REACH, when I was 16, I wrote in my Hero's Journey book that I wanted to be a CEO. Mm. And when Troy died and when Jim died, you go, seriously, my parents were like, if you do nothing, it's totally fine. You just need to get up. Yeah. And then I was like, hang on, but I think I want to be a CEO. <laughs> like, and it just was surreal when I found out. And at first I was really overwhelmed like I was driving down Punt Road and I wanted all I wanted was to tell Jim like that is the only thing the first half an hour I was bawling down Punt Road and I just wanted to ring Jim and I was like does he know and I just kept processing that and then I called my sister and she was like I was like couldn't breathe she's like what's happened what's happened I'm like I'm a CEO and she goes well isn't that good and I was like yes and I go people actually can see what I've done. People can see me. And she's like, yeah, we can. I said, but no one says anything. And she goes, yeah, we can see what you're doing. And I was like, because I think that's all I wanted as well. Yeah, to be something different than yeah. the label you would have. Yeah, mm. and I tried so hard for people to see that I did, I wasn't just someone to feel sorry for. Like, I feel like I've got a lot more to give. And I think when I got that role at St Kilda Youth Service, I felt like things changed for me. Like I felt mm. like finally people were seeing me for who I am and not just my story.